Alex, um, just tell me about what you've been doing today at the Glo uh, Soldiers of Gloucestershire Museum. <laughs> well, we've just been uh, getting a bit of an understanding about what the history is around the area. Uh, a lot of the guys have come in this season are new and um, just giving them a bit of an understanding of what it's all about here and what we are at Gloucester and the history that uh, the, the city has and understanding what the Gloucesters did and, uh, and what they've done over the years is, is really impressive actually and to hear some of the guys speak today was uh, certainly humbling in many ways. Yeah. I mean, you mentioned that the new guys that have come in, but I imagine some of the guys that have been here a few years probably learnt quite a lot as well. Yeah, I, I can be one of those as yeah. well. You know, I've been here for, well, this is my 12th year now, and, you know, a long time, and uh, didn't really have a comprehension about what the Gloucesters did and their success they had over many, many uh, years, really. Um, and, uh, no, really good to, to understand and to know a little bit more and great to hear from some of the guys who came in today and, and talk about their actual first-hand experiences. I mean, do, you, do you think this could, you know, does actually change how yourself and other people associated with the club kind of think about, you know, the work that you do? Well, maybe. I mean, there are lots of similarities between what um, the regiments do, uh, the Gloucesters do, and, uh, and, and rugby in a way, uh, the whole teamship and everything like that. And that's certainly something that we're focusing on this year. Excellent, Alex, thank you. No worries.